Hi, this is Warren Buckleitner, editor of Children's Technology Review. Today I'm, we're going to have a look at Disney and Magic Academy, a major new release announced today by Disney Publishing that is going to be targeting the home learner. I'm going to give you a preview of some of the activities that were on an iPad that was shipped to me last week from Disney to let me test this with some kids. So let me begin by telling you that we have not given this formal ratings yet and we've only tested this with one kid who happened to really like Disney characters. And so I'm going to just give you some preliminary thoughts on this title. But I want to start out here with notice that this is a multiple choice kind of thing. All of the curriculum in this uh, title is pretty much low hanging fruit on the math curriculum, colors, shapes, numbers, counting kind of kinds of stuff. Um, in our review, we say it's kind of like Mary Poppins, a uh, little bit of sugar helps the medicine go down. Um, there's a lot of sugar with this app. If you like Disney and you like the quality of the, this narration, um, there, it really gives you a nice context to play with some of these concepts. It's a match! Awesome! Ah, dog! The circuit board's connected again! Thanks, pal! So you can see a lot of these activities are pretty much very, very short, um, and they vary in quality. A lot of them are really intuitive and fun. Others are sort of swimming in this uh, sea of, of narration and video, and you just don't know what to do. And I'll show you some of those later on. I think you can see which ones work and don't work. Uh, in this footage here, I like to play the app. This is a lot of these are the first time I've seen them, so you can kind of see how my finger explores. Doesn't really know what to do, but I can figure it out. But the disadvantage here, uh, particularly considering the, the audience, is that there's a lot of images and a lot of things on the screen that kind of detract you from what you're supposed to do. Hiya, pal! It's like a circle, but it's not perfectly round. Hey, everybody, look what I found. It's an oval. A closed group shape like you. I hope you're ready for some more fun on the robot playground. So what a child may not know is that all everything they're doing is being tracked and kept in one of 68 different slots that you can go in and, and use uh, for record keeping. This could actually work in a classroom if you wanted to with that kind of record keeping horsepower. This is an example of an activity though that it makes the point of uh, some, one of the weaknesses of this, this title in that I just don't know what to do. I'm supposed to make a smoothie for that alien but um, you know I'm trying different things and I it's not obvious is that I fit it in that cup there now most kids and particularly the one that I tried this with and this was I tried it with a, a three-year-old and uh, he could figure this stuff out um, so these aren't deal breakers but given all of the the really wonderful animation and, and all of that um, it's in this app it, it would be nice if some of the challenges were focused and separated from all of the, the fancy stuff. Okay, so I wanted to make one last point about this activity because it, it again really points out one of the strengths, this, both the strengths and the weaknesses of this app. Um, this is sort of like an Angry Birds idea where you do a slingshot and it ties in a number line nicely, but I really wanted to control the, um, the you know, change the angle and have more control over the whole thing. All this really is is sort of a highly decorated or pretty multiple choice problem. 
and it doesn't let me actually manipulate the math concept. So there's not a lot of that. And these, in this day of multi-touch, I'm looking for things, um, and I've seen apps that really let children manipulate math concepts and can do a whole lot more in terms of learning. What At the end of the day, children are going to walk away from this app happy, but not with, but without much rich math learning that, that you'd really want. Uh, this is another example of an activity that I found frustrating. Again, this is the first time I used it. I didn't know that I had to break down that barrier to get the sleepwalker to the, the sump. And once I figured it out the first time, it was no problem. But, you know, again, for given the age range, they really need to work on that initial design, that initial experience. <laughs> There's a real mishmash, uh, lots of content here. The, this app will be sold for, you can download it for free, and then for $5 you can unlock the different modules. I think, I believe I'm looking at the $5 version here. So this is what you get for $4.99. Um, you get a lot of content, a lot of wonderful animation. It's really like a cartoon with math. And then um, the record keeping could be interesting and useful although it isn't working on this version. I'm Warren Buckleiner. We'll see you next time.